Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Just got back from the forge. Um, thanks, Andrew, for letting me come over. Had a big day. I am absolutely buggered. But anyway, um, yeah, very productive. Got a lot done. Cut out a few things. That's that Kid Chrome um, spanner. Going to be a cam, but... So cut it off. We um Andrew started the end bit got cut off and we um he put it in the forge and started hammering just the end bit out just just because I took my son Caleb over and when he put it, Caleb was fooling around forge and whatnot and he put the bit in in the forge and Andrew said oh you're going to do a um. A test on that metal and Carl didn't know what Andrew said meant and um, I said oh, I don't think he knows what that means mate and anyway Andrew showed him so anyway um, put it in the forge started hammering and he said mate this is hard metal this it's chrome vadnium CRV steel anyway put it in the um, vise and tried to snap it because we quenched it in water bloody thing wouldn't even snap so this is <laughs> it's going to be some tough metal to make but anyway my arm just felt sore looking at it just because Andrew was swinging a four pound hammer on it and it wasn't moving at all so yeah going to be hard cut out two files for the rats for Jason so they're ready to go um one of them that was cut off there so that's going to be an all so that'll be the all so those two there of rats um i've got this done that's that wiltshire australia with the extra curl i was not happy with the way the curl was so i straightened it out again and then redid the curl turned out really well very happy with the way that turned out it's still a little bit skew with but a lot better than it was so yeah this turned out well my touch mark looks like crap but um yeah it um it, it's a lot better it um it feels good it sparks really well it just fire sparks off like it sparks really well this is um yeah, nice striker. Very nice. The curls, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to stop doing them. The back curls here, they're hard. I don't know. It's, it's just didn't work. It, everything's in plain. It, the curl worked a lot better. Just looking at this side, it doesn't look as good. It's, it's, it just looks crap just doesn't look as good as it, what it should do it's not too bad but yeah it's it's a nice striker it's not too bad at all but um yeah, it's not my best work um Jebs wanted a striker so I'd already told him I've done one this is this is his I haven't sent him to him yet I'm I'm just, I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. I've got a few bills that I've got to overcome and I'm doing my giveaway on Monday. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to get this out to you. So it's Nicholson, made in Canada. So yeah, it's, um, that's the striker. You also mentioned that you liked this 9.5mm W2 striker. So I'm going to send those to you to Jerbs as well. I'll um, send some more Aussie Black along with it. So I'll do those two. And I made to replace that because I haven't got one from 9.2 mil. So, yeah, 9.2 mil. This was out of the bar stock. I didn't cut anything off it. This one... 
if you notice, is a little bit thinner, like a little bit thinner. This one's a bigger one. Still, the holes are a bit bigger. O turned out really well. It's just one of those, you can strike on either side. It's the same as that. It's just, it's a little bit bigger dimensionally. It's a lot heavier striker. But um, yeah, I just to replace that. So yeah, I um, so I'll do those. Uh, those are for gerbs. This one's for me. Um, got those done. That's done. Yeah, finish that one off. Um, did another dog tag. This one, uh, that um, the hole worked out really well. Punch. That's the best one I've ever done. Still struggling to get my touch mark done, so I did it on both sides, but I still not hitting it hard enough. It's a really nice little striker. Sparks really well. So yeah, have very happy with that. It's a nice little dog tag. So yeah. Just to go in there, that's done. Um bloke over in America wanted me to do a striker. That was the striker I was going to start doing it. It's a, a 80 mil double Viking. I just didn't get to it, so I'm going to send him that one, um, and I'll forge one myself. I'll take the antler off it because that's I haven't got much antler left, but um, I'll send you that one, mate. That's part of it. Uh, I'll, I've, it's a nice little striker. So I'll, I'll send you that. I'll forge one myself for me. Um, I just ran out of time. Dominic Minichetti sent me a Nicholson USA file, a really big one, really nice file. So I ummed and art about what I was going to do with it and I decided that I wasn't going to fool around. I just was going to make a single curl colonial out of one side of it and that's what I did and it's probably one of the best I've ever made it's a fantastic beautiful striker sparks really well beautiful orange sparks have a look at that beautiful popping and sizzling Curl came up really nice. Nicholson, Nicholson made in the USA turned out really nice. The O round, I didn't have enough because it's flat bastard was on this side. Didn't have any room for my touch mark, but that's all right. Everything's in plain. The curl came up really nice. Rounded that off really nice. Nice pattern on it. It's just everything I want in a single curl colonial and. I just wanted one for out of it because it's a nice thick striker and I love that pattern and so I thought bugger it I'll make one for myself it's going in my single curl colonial collection and that's mine as well Andrew was good enough to make me a handle I didn't haven't made haven't would just this is for my bowl for transfer bowl we're just gonna I've got to drill the holes in it and we're gonna put a little handle on it just for transferring embers uh, fire for my fatwood Friday so yeah that's what I got done I, I am absolutely buggered <laughs> beautiful day a fantastic day lots and lots of work done but yeah very worn out just um yeah lots of talking you can probably hear in my voice I, I talk under a six foot of water with um a mouthful of marbles but anyway that's why I go over there because yeah fellowship and talking but yeah I am absolutely buggered in a good way I was going to get embers but this video will be too long if I do that um yeah as I said I'll get those out to your gerbs might not be this week could be next week I don't know uh, it, it they will be coming to you um yeah, this is just, this, I don't know what I'll do with that. It might go into my collection yet. But those two are mine because I wanted them. 
that's you know actually they're all mine i will be getting that off to that bloke in america at some stage um i said by the end of april so yeah that's in a little while as you saw they spark this shows you that's been in the forge it's not hardened i did get one little spark off there but yeah as soon as you put them in the forge burns them stops them from sparking pretty well but um yeah lots of stuff done yeah and this is going to kill me i can see this is going to be very hard but anyway that's the way it goes um yeah as i said um jason these are the rats for you and i'll do an all strike i don't know who i'm I don't know who will get that yet, but um, yeah, had a productive day. Got that. This is um, yeah, this is a beast. I've got a because the angular cutter going in there. I haven't and I, I silly. I hardened it. I quenched it, and then I said to Andrew, oh, I didn't, didn't smooth the. And these are very sharp, but I don't know. I might leave them sharp because you could actually strike ferro rod with them but um yeah they're not real good they're, they're pretty pretty sharp so yeah i'll get in there with a um, with a dremel and just clean them off so yeah but yeah it's nice too anyway that's what i got done at the forge thanks mate for letting me over there yeah fantastic and as he said um because of the temperature change um we're going to get a, more chances of going over now so probably every second week or maybe even every week we'll see how we go as it as it as it, the temperature changes we get more chances to forge so yeah which will be good so yeah we'll um we'll be knee deep in it so yeah anyway thanks for watching